What's up, YouTubers? Welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's doing well out there. Today's video is a very different one from this channel. It's a practice video. Literally me practicing at night. Um, so usually at night, after dinner, after FIFA, you no, know, I'll come back in the office, turn the amp quiet, and practice for like about an hour, right? Watch a bit of YouTube and just go to town on shedding. So this video is that. Well, I paused the YouTube videos to record the video, but it's practicing. Um, this past week, I've been really into trying to improve this five pattern, the cascading fives, very much like Joe Bonamassa, Eric Johnson type phrases. And the past couple of nights, I've been just doing that for about an hour usually. So I thought to myself, why not just press play on the camera, explain to you guys sort of what I'm thinking and all this and record for about 15 minutes and whatever happens, happens. And that is today's video, about 15 minutes of just straight up figuring out these kind of stuff, these licks, what's going on in my head when I'm thinking about it, where to go, etc. So with all that being said, enjoy today's video on practicing pentatonics pattern of fives. So I wanted to try something new just a very raw, I guess you can say, practice time. No cuts, nothing. So these days I am really trying to improve this pattern of five technique, right? That we see people like Joe Bonamassa and Eric Johnson do, right? Like the, uh, Stuff like that, where a main part of it is the economy pick and the down, up, down, up, down, down. Something like that. And the tricky part is how do you get out of the one area, right? And firstly, you have to know your pentatonic shapes, right? Something like that. Actually, I messed up there, so we actually... Something like that, right? You can do there, you can go. Right, you can do. It's really tricky just I guess I haven't done this in a long time maybe since the Berkeley days really focused on this type of picking um, but besides descending right you can go up to this position. So I went higher and then came back down. Stuff 
stuff like that. And it's just really fun to have something that is kind of new, but still fresh and then getting back into that routine, right? And I posted a video about this maybe a couple weeks ago. It was last week, actually, <laughs> about expanding your pentatonic. And stuff like this was talked about, just seeing the pentatonic as more... Like more up and down as opposed to across or across as opposed to up and down, right? Now it's just noodles. Um, but yeah, having this idea of just, I guess, every fret for every shape, maybe. Oh, there I messed up. Let's go in like an in A, right? Like that or like that maybe I don't know but That works, right? My phone says 20%, we'll keep going. <laughs> C. So I'm really not focusing on any one particular key. It's really just seeing where you can go in different keys, right? Because if you're an E minor pentatonic here, you can also do A minor pentatonic. also do C minor pentatonic. Right, you can also do G minor pentatonic. Right, all these one all these keys in this maybe one, two, three, four fret area. You have E minor pentatonic. A minor pentatonic. C minor pentatonic, right? That'd be the four chord. Um, then you have G minor pentatonic.
So those are all in this one area. And then you just choose one and expand it. Right, so if we're in G again slowly. This is Raw Noodles, and my buddy Jack Devine says <laughs> when you're just practicing. Oh. here. up there. Nope. Oh, bad mess up. That's what I'm practicing right now. And the tone for the video bass is my Wellagen Overdrive Special on 50 watt mode. Uh, jazz Switch, Deep Engaged on the Overdrive channel, sorry, on the Clean channel with master volume like 1.5. So here is a sound um, clean. the 2290 type slap in the timeline, right? Nothing crazy. And I add the Tube Screamer. Um, I changed settings for more gain. So it's gain at 12, tone at 12, and level at about nine o'clock, so it's still pretty quiet. And here we have. Right. Let's see if we can do like a loop. I posted this one on my story today. Um, Ballad of John Henry. Don't mind that. That is the Glade um, room spray. I'm like, um. Right, so I'm like, Ballad. Okay, I'll do it better actually. 
some like Ballad of John Henry, very Bonamassa. <laughs> They're pretty quiet, so I can still have room with the Tube Screamer, right? So we incorporate a solo, like E minor pentatonic, with these cascading fifths, right? Something like this, maybe. Something like that. And like Tom Bugavac says, if you don't foul, you're not playing basketball, right? You gotta go for stuff even if you're not necessarily ready to go for it yet. And that's what I've been doing these past couple of days with these cascading fifths. <laughs> Well, all right, guys, that is today's video. One of my nightly practice sessions, right? Post dinner, post FIFA, just come in the office, put on a YouTube video and just practice for about an hour, hour and a half, right? For me, that works best because there's nothing else really going on during the day, um, right? So I can just come in here, put on a video and go to town and practice. And like you saw, that is my current routine. Pattern of five, cascading, Joe Bonamassa, Eric Johnson type licks. I'm still practicing them. I want to up the speed a little bit and get them much more clean. Um, so yeah, the secret sauce is ketchup. You just got to work, work, and put in the time to practice, practice, practice. So with all that being said, if you enjoyed today's video and this type of format, please press like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.